for sure. Oh, that's not a movie. That's a capture. Okay. This is doing movie. It does movie and capture. There's robots inside that thing to even now? Uh, yeah. It's a brave new world. You remember the digital camera. Street art, packaged as artifact, cosmologies of color and form, fusion, both pro and con, created using simple and organic technique. Mermexes. My name is Jack Ryan. I sell life assurance, and uh, I have been doing this for 10 years. No, it's almost 12. So I've been doing it for 11 years, let's say that. And then uh, you may know me from around the area. I used to be a brown bear, a pine patriot, a wooster cult, and a member of the Nevada Wolf Pack. Thank you very much. And uh, it's great to be here on the Virginia and California Savage Mystic land. Uh, the California road ends right there. And, um, yeah, this artistic uh, vision has been going on since the year of the dragon in 2012. I kind of got tricked into this. I was on a beach in Mexico, and this little kid, he was like making all these like fantastic shaped things and with all these wild colors, and I really liked it. He wasn't putting in the holes yet, though. I put in the holes. I really liked what he was doing, so I bought the company. And uh, so I'm the sole proprietor of Mermex on the world, and uh, I have a piece of paper that says that somewhere. And uh, But I'm actually trying to turn it into a financial index. You know, I know I've been sitting up here being funny all these years, but I'm actually a new agent for Aussie coin. It's like Bitcoin, but it's, it's got something that's important that stands behind it. Aussie coin. Think about it. Like around, where have you been in the world? Like, have you been around? Seems oh, like Astro around. Geographically speaking? Yeah. Yeah, very good. I have this wild triangle. You know, I've been to the Hawaii. I grew up there off and on as a child. And you can see Source Alive on Hawaii. It, I don't know if you've ever seen Source Alive. I mean, I know we all have, but he's for real, you know. I've seen it alive at Pyramid Lake, you know, and other places around town. And I take it over to the Oregon forests. I grew up there a little bit in the Willamette Valley. There were blackberry riots, you know. The fisheries are still going strong. And it, in Oregon, you learned about grams of protein yielded per acre, you know. I, I guess you probably learned that anywhere. Maybe, I don't even know. I, you know that has a lot to do with economic geography. Grams of protein yielded per acre. And uh, Mermex is, so yeah, I, I grew up in uh, Nevada and Oregon and Hawaii. I lived a little bit in California, but I was always there. I kind of like have a yellow belt in California. And I drove truck all across the nation for like three years off and on. So I've been to 45 of the 48 continuous states. and. Uh, that's one reason why I'm a street artist is because I walk the streets of so many towns in America, cities and towns. You know, this stuff actually turned into therapy. These are the mirrors I needed. You know, I mean, what is this? I look at this and I think, when's the last time I looked at this great? You know, I mean, fucking. And, and go ahead and look at them. Look at them like that, you know? Or this is what I want. This is the piece I want my audience to have. Avant-garde? No, just caught off. Not the avant. Oh, oh. oh yeah, no, I, and I've met people that are like this too. Right. You haven't met somebody that you weren't entirely sure about when you first met them, or whatever, you know, and uh, believe me, I get like that too. And, uh, but I grew up with Buddhist clowns. The Czechs of Buddhism, they, they somehow not only have helped me, but I've seen it help other people. And so I try to give some out, you know, give somebody a crazy mirror for a moment. You know, I will dare to do this, you know. I couldn't make it in theater, so I have to be theater. But, uh, yeah, and, and that seems to be, and I've studied that, like, I've heard them say, he's weird, ever since I was, like, in second grade. And I've studied that word as it comes out of people's mouth, and it's just such a weak thing to say that about anything. And, uh... Because I've had to check it as I said things that were weird and didn't really check myself. Like, why did I even say that? That was weird. 
you know, and uh, I know this is not for everyone. <laughs> and that's okay. Remember that year, what was it, 2021, when everybody found out some people like this and some people like that? And uh, I really follow through with that because I've had to make choices to give myself permission to uh, be fruity. Be yourself. Or be myself for the love of light, you know? I mean, if found, return to light, please, you know? So oh, it was like something specifically that you said. No, you have it all wrong. I'm a recovering Buddhist. I'm trying to get some expectations and some attachments. Right. That's what you're saying. I, I've seen the Buddha in so many cultures. You know, this is why I kind of almost don't believe it. You know, I've seen whatever the light that may be Jesus. I've seen it in so many cultures. You know, and uh, I reflect that. I run, I'm on the streets, I run into vampires, and they're like, oh, oh, Christos, you know? And uh, this, this music, this frozen music, kind of shows that it's an expression of that awareness that um, you got to be heavy metal to make it. Yeah, the art, this is the first thing I've ever really in my life focused upon. I've, and uh, I focus, focus, like to the point well, I used to study people and they'd be like super focused on it and they'd throw other things out in their life, but they made something. And I'm like, is that the fucking way? Do I just have to fucking grind and focus? Because this is nothing but repetition is the bedrock of all authentic art. Well, when I started this, I really wanted to be as original as I could be. And I knew I was bound by certain principles. Like it couldn't be like super flamboyant with like a, I would need a laser gun or a fucking crayon disperser or whatever. So I gathered simple things that were around me and kind of cobbled this, what I call borderline new technique, but it's not really. It's just a old thing in a new bottle kind of thing. I'm not flattering my, myself so much, but I do know that I haven't scratched the surface of uh, this little technique that I've harbored. This is like... Uh, I'm missing some of the parametric balances that have to happen to make this super fine art. I'm aware of that. And, uh, but the smoothness of the technique and the uh, application of it, it's actually turned into quite a therapy. I, I, feel, I feel magic, you know? I feel like, like, I feel like creator with a K. Or no, like, it feels good to give forth no matter who you are. You know, and I had to find a safe way to do that. So these shapes are, I'm playing on the, uh, the ratio 1 to 1.6, the, the golden uh, mean, the golden rectangle kind of thing, 5. And uh, some of them are really horned off and some of them are kind of on. But this mathematical uh, ratio vibration is actually, um, it's coursing something towards the eye towards the subject. And uh, I've been playing around with that. And uh, the shapes are just kind of be kind of whimsical. And playing again with that repetition is the bedrock of all authentic art. Because this is totally off the wall kind of crazy stuff, but it's bound by its form, so which gives it a half a chance of being able to be registered properly. Because imagine if this was just all over the floor, like you wouldn't know how to organize it correctly. They're more modular. So to, to, to be with something for 12 years and make a, a fruity thing is, is quite amazing. I've done it before in other fields of my life, and uh, they're still alive. And uh, yeah, I made kids. No, 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 I don't have to do that, okay. I made things that are still alive. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about flying with no net. Yeah, and uh, good God, it, it was the only way for me. You know, I tried to get a consortium together with all the insurance to fly with a net, but it never turned out. You know, I, I yeah. And so it is the, one has to give themselves the, the permission to get a little sideways, because it is a little sideways to give yourself to a vision. You know, it's damn near crazy, you know. It's, there's, my warranty's out. The net is somewhere in Oklahoma City, like, I, don't, I can't get it trucked over here. They, 
You know, I don't know how it works. So we, I went online and there's no net. And I'm like, what? It's called the internet, no net. Like, what are you guys doing? It's taken me, I've had 25 opuses over 11 years. I've probably worked on it a thousand hours. Because the, the technique is simple and so true. And uh, it's very proprietary knowledge. If I showed it to you, you would laugh and think I was a ninny. But uh, it, it, uh, it tickles me pink. I, I can make frozen music, you know, any color. You know, name a color, I fucking can use it. Um, if you had to guess, how many pieces do you think you've made so far? You know, I, I think I've made over 300. People laugh at this wood sometimes. And I was reading one of those art history books of the Western world, you read these things where it starts out, and then there was art in a cave where they made cheese in France. The, all these Western books begins like this. But later on in one of these books it says, the masters, they used to use wood, but they went to canvas because it was fucking cheaper, you know? And uh, so I think that's kind of funny. As a Merrimax, I think that's funny. <laughs> and then, uh, but as a Merrimax, I found out I'm not the only one. And I think that's the, it's one of the guiding principles of this art. When, when you make mirrors, you know you're not the only one. You know, there's other things in those mirrors. I mean, if you ever make a mirror, you know. Yeah, I, I walk and I see hope throughout this potentialist movement. It's always been four generations. You know, the ins and outs. And uh, there was always kids and there was always the old ladies. I went to the potentials today and there was a bunch of old ladies there. I was helping them in the door. They were doing theater things. You ever seen old ladies do theater things? It's cute. And not one of them voted for the warmongering. Can not we one go of them. Back really quick? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I've heard you. you say this before okay. and I love it. It's right. how you say, like. So, so, yeah, the school of potentialism from day one, it's always been four generations. You know, we've had the elders. And then I turned into an elder, borderline elder, being in the movement all these years or whatever. You know, we got Pan's generation, and we got some younger generation. And uh, then the people were bringing their kids. Now there's tiny turkeys, and, and people have always brought their kids and their dogs to the potentialists over the years, you know? Kids and dogs, welcome, how you doing? You know, and I always thought, I found that neat. Or if I, I found that like, Oh, well, I'm at home, you know, because I've been to some pretty uh, janky art collections, you know, that w there was no way there'd be four generations there, you know, and uh, that's really been a big part of uh, this great collection. Yeah, even this place, Savage and Mystic, boom, four generations, you know, again, and yeah, it is the way, Abuela gang. What do you, what would you want to do next? Like... What, what do you consider... Mernext. <laughs> Mernext. <laughs> yeah, and, and I've been thinking about that because, like, uh, do, am I going to continue painting like a madman or am I going to, you know... I, I've been manifesting things or... I, I have no idea. That's a scary one because I'm supposed to marry well in my old age. Yeah, you know, doing this has left me no time for a relationship. Which is good, because I see what dedication it takes to fucking do anything. You know, I see a lot of dedicated people out there. You know, and it's pretty amazing. And then, but there's a, there's a want, there's lacking, you know, it made me become a recovery Buddhist. You know, I was fine being a Buddhist, but now I have to recover a little bit. But it did allow for me to have the space to really find something, you know, because it's taken me a thousand hours to make these over 11 years, but it's like 8,000 looking at them and finding out, or like, re these things have revealed things to me. It's therapy I needed that wasn't going to get anywhere else because I was actually kind of looking for some. You should have saw Jackie Lama. He was out there, hey, do you guys got any therapy? You know, like, hey, I need some supervision. And they're like, dude, you are supervision. So I'm like operating on this premise, you know.
But uh, uh, not everybody knows, but uh, a lot of people know that you're a painter, but not everyone knows that you're a musician. At least I think. Oh fuck um, yeah! And I've heard you play piano before, and I think it sounds amazing. Um, how how was your musical journey started, and like how what's what's up with all of that? You know, I, I my grandmother was a jazz uh, band leader and uh, solo lady when I was a kid and even before. And so she told me to go be the future of jazz. And I was like, I was like eight years old, you know. So she's standing there in her underwear in Hawaii with a fifth of bourbon, like, go be the future of jazz. I'm like, okay, you know. And so this is actually, this is as close as I got. This is frozen jazz of the future, guys. This is pretty cool. Is it too jazzy? Oh, we, we can't let these people in now. We're busy. Hello everyone and Alfredo. I just wanted to see how great it feels to be here on the corners of Virginia and California at the gallery, the Savage Mystic Gallery, here in uh, the land I call Rosa Villa. Yeah, that's when you get up to the top of Mount Rosa, you look around for a hundred miles and go, whoa, this land is beautiful. I spent time growing up in Washoe Valley and Burai, did a lot of time in Red Rock Road, been all over the deserts around here, and to have this art up in this gallery is quite astrogeographically wonderful. Thank you. It was huge. No, God, ever say, every time I say wonderful or great or fat, it was fabulous. You know what I mean? I'm trying to put words on this art and it's just ridiculous. Fucking beautiful. It was huge. What's not to like? Okay. Boom. Mermexes. What's um, not to like? Okay. Yeah. What are some of the